Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today. Hope you are all well and safe, having a great day. It's pitch black here now. I've been drawing all day, got totally lost in doing this uh, drawing of a sparrow. I used one brush in Procreate called the Bonobo Chalk Brush. Really versatile, uh, gives a nice soft texture to it. So it's sort of very similar to using an airbrush but with a little bit of a texture, which I found really nice to do this sort of detailed drawing of this uh, little sparrow. The video is really long. Uh, it's an hour and a half long. I'm sorry about that. I tried editing it down, but the, the issue was I got so much in it that if I uh, edited it down too much, it would have been just a speed painting and there'd be nothing to learn except watch me drawing really really fast and I wanted to share all the little tips and tricks of blending that I do and stuff so uh, I really hope it doesn't put you off watching it especially when I come to doing the bird at the end where I go into uh, there's no speed painting on the bird at all it's, uh, I go through it step by step right from beginning to end showing every single brush stroke so I better shut up and get on with the video So I'm sketching in Procreate today and I want to show you this brush, the Bonobo Chalk. I think I spelt it right, Bonobo Chalk. And you can find it under the sketching tab. And I'm going to do a complete painting just using that one brush. And I've got my colour palette open, so that's cool. And the reason I'm using this brush is if I have it quite large, I get nice set of like an off tone set of dots, really soft texture, and I can reduce that, make it more like short paint denser, and I can go right down. And use it like a fine drawing tool so and I can tilt it as well for shade in so this this brush really for those people want to get in with a little bit more detail than um, what you would normally uh, what you normally expect from me I'm normally way more um, impressionist with my style just uh, easy for myself I don't want to move the iPad obviously oops and a few guidelines I might create a layer uh, to begin with to get in just the uh, rough sketch and then expand on that and the idea is I picked this particular picture because we've got this nice sharp detail on on this bird, but at the same time I've got all this blurriness about the leaves, and I think that will be a real this brush, this this actual picture will be a good example of um, how this brush. Can be used to do sort of soft focus work and at the same time get in there and do all of the uh, detail work you might need as well. So just sort of feeling the way with my little bird. Right. Um, right, but uh, I can use this brush as well as the eraser. Uh, 
when I'm, when I'm doing rough sketching, quite often do a lot of um, raising. Other than that, I've been millions of lines. Why am I getting bogged down with this? I'm supposed to be just roughing in rough shapes and I'm trying to get the old things sorted with all of the detail in and everything. I wouldn't be doing that. Not where I should be. Do what I say, don't do what what I do. Um so easy, isn't it, to, to um, get wrapped up in, in that detail stuff. Right, there we go. Stop it. It's because I zoomed in, that's why. Okay, so I've got my little bird in. Think about the leaves. So nice, nice leaf here. Obviously, I am not going to draw every single leaf. Um... I know for some of you, that would be an absolute must. But for me, um, I, get, I, I don't know, I just, I haven't, I haven't got the personality to, to painstakingly do that. I do, I do feel quite awkward you know when I'm working on these videos where I'm sat at the desk with the iPad set firmly to get a good recording oops got my nose in there uh, as opposed to sitting on the uh, couch just lounging and um... now I look at that what am I doing that leaf should I wasn't even thinking then I'm talking that leaf should should come out here This makes a, a really nice drawing all better. That's better. Just set to uh, really fine. Stop. Oh, it should stop there actually. I really did make a mess of that. Soften them a bit. I don't want them too heavy. But I think at this point I should um, stop talking and just finish off getting into pen pencil work because. What you really want to see is I'm going to use this brush in an effective way to get all of this sort of soft focus stuff going off. So I'm just going to uh, shut up and, and uh, get the rest of these leaves sketched in roughly. I'll be back in a minute. Right, that's my initial sketch done. As you can see, I've changed the composition of the leaves uh, for the sake of the, uh, the, the uh, moved leaves around for the sake of the composition. And um, I made the bird bigger just to, just to give us a, a much nicer um, layout, really. I'll put a few more leaves, I suppose, up here. Um, and You'll notice, I mean, they are really loosely sketched because a lot of them are going to be blurry. And there's just two down here. If we look at these, all these squiggly lines in really rough, just to remind me that those are two uh, leaves that are on the same focal plane almost as the bird. 
So they are going to want to have detail on, whereas others haven't. So I've sort of, uh, that's why some of them have got just a bare outline, and others are quite detailed. So that's my drawing. I need to go to layers now, create a new layer. In fact, I'm going to, somebody says, do you have a, um, you should rename your layers. And I don't normally do that because it just stops the flow of the painting. But I'm going to do this one because I want to make sure that I keep the sketch. Um, and also to lock it. So now I've locked that. I can't draw on it again. There we go. Cool. Uh, I need to create a new layer. And that layer is going to um, go underneath. I want to keep the sketch layer on top. And now I probably won't name any more layers because honestly, it just slows me up. But what I'm going to do now is make my brush quite a bit bigger. Start thinking about the colors. Probably change the colors up a little bit. I'm working on the sky first of all. And I just love this sort of softness. This brush, I mean, this is supposed to be a chalk, so that's cool. So I can sort of quickly mix up a few colors. Nice soft background in but it's not not just flat color there's more than one color there by keeping the pencil sketch on the top you know i've kept my details so I, I can very easily see where i want to go with that it's very more put a bit more color in i don't want it quite as, as boring and flat as the uh photo maybe um a little bit lighter around the bird I think it's uh, nice. I've set the, the recorder up differently, as you notice, but a nice square angle. And you can see all my finger actions with the iPad, which I think is quite important, which I've never really bothered to do that before. I won't, I won't mind your feedback, actually, if you think that it's a good idea to do it this way, where you can actually see what I'm doing with, with my hands. You'll see straight away now, why I've got my toolbars over this side because I'm left-handed and I can easily, you know, move things around without without stop drawing almost. I could make that warmer actually, you know. I'm thinking let's just warm up this little patch here. But be careful, I don't want it to go green. Yeah, that's nice. I quite like that. Um, and then I'm going in for the fence, so we'll go for brown. So I'm just getting in. Um, the basic sort of textures and overall colours of the, the scene. Get going. Making a little bit of uh, mystic license and liabilities. Now, make the brush smaller.
So there's really no um, restrictions of how much detail you can get in with this brush. Really go for it. Must be bluer actually. Thinking. Yeah. So as you can see, I, it really does require a very different approach to what I normally do. Now, layers. I need to, oh, putting my head in the way again. Don't want to be doing that if I can help it. Um, try and remember to lean back. Create a new layer. I want to use um, this fairly big brush create these loose um, leaf shapes. So I need a new layer because I can, as you know, I like to chisel away quite a lot. I can put in a leaf like that. And take the eraser. Now that eraser should be the, yes, it's the same short brush. So, it will erase it like with the dots. It doesn't become a sharp edge. I can just take that out. And if I have a bigger brush, it means I, I can keep a, even more soft edge, a softer edge still. You can control that to have it softer or harder edge and I might do three or four layers I think probably starting to get these diffused looking leaves and then I can build up some darker ones over the top of that or I can now go in with a brush and make it a bit smaller smaller still Oh, I like in that. Uh, he's in. Pick them out and use the alpha lock as well. Oh, I'll I'll do that in a second. Get these leaves sort of uh, roughed in. I think it's going to definitely be a case where I'd sort of do one layer of leaves and put another layer over the top. Generally keep working at it like that.
In fact, what I'm thinking of doing, um, in most of these leaves, then. And then putting the alpha lock on and working on the colour like that. That's an idea. This the initial colour I use doesn't matter too much. Got the eraser. Cleaning this up. There's another another leaf there. I'll probably um, some of these. I'll put the detail in by overpainting. And create more leaves. The detailed one. I'll probably put that in, and then the blurred ones over the top of that. A few more there. Uh, we've got this leaf there, like that. This one. This my drawing's a bit shoddy. Not really helping me a lot. I can just keep building it up. This is a lot slower way of painting than my normal methods. Uh, but, you know, if you're going for sort of more detailed work than what you normally do, it's going to take longer. There's no two ways about it. Um, it's just, you, you've just got to put the hours in. If that's your, you know, what you want to be doing. Now, for me, I'm not, I, I quite often I find um, doing detail quite laborious and I, I don't always enjoy it. Just that I'm feeling in the mood right now to be doing something like this so I can do it. But uh, even then it starts to become a little bit tedious. I like to be more spontaneous. Right, so, okay, I've got this flat, bland looking... Uh, green on here but I can change that by um just oops never remember how to do this just tap there that's it up on alpha lock alpha lock um if you don't know basically means I can only paint on pixels that, that have already got pigment on so and you can rub out on the alpha lock as well <laughs> So I've still got the alpha lock on, that's cool. Make sure I've got the paintbrush. And just pop that back in. Paint over that. So I can't paint, I can paint all over there, but it will only put pigment where I've already got pigment or pixels that are already colored. So the blurred ones then, I can, I might want to, um, a bit darker, purple. These two a bit darker. and warmer. Red. And red up here as well. But can you see? Uh, you can very quickly change the look of something by using this alpha lock. And I, I have I have used it quite a lot recently, and you've you'll have seen me um, use using the alpha lock quite a bit. Even to the point that, that way you can. 
quite detailed work. So I need some more leaves over the top of them. I think I'll create another another layer for that. These two leaves are nice and brown, aren't they? Let's keep the fuzziness of that. I don't want a lot of detail in on these. Oh, that one's got a nice, almost purpley tone to it, this leaf. There we go. So, that layer's cool, I like that. I can then, if I want, create a new layer. And I do want. And do the same again. Paint some more leaves in. Uh, and I think uh, that's what I need to do. Possibly a bit more detail in the brushes. Right? Definitely want one that goes sort of. Yeah, like this, that. We need to put a little bit of detail in. Yeah. Sorry for not talking. I uh, at some points I just get totally engrossed with the drawing process, and and it just takes over. And I kind of I've tried before uh, to talk, and it, and it just. Can't do it. So I'm sorry if if you get like 
long pauses. The more you keep going over, obviously, the, the more solid color becomes, and you can um, get the effect of the texture again just by changing the color, filling with a bit of a. Just go over that, and then you'll see the uh, texture comes back. And obviously, if it's a light color, you'll see that texture quite. Announced. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. And um, because I'm on a different uh, layer, it's all working out quite nice. I can sort of take color off and not worry that I'm damaging the layers below. So that leaf kind of. I want to put a little bit of detail in here. Still a bit fuzzy. There. I've got this lighter leaf underneath there, haven't I? Uh, this leaf shouldn't be quite dark as that. I think it's time now, you, you see how I'm working with the blurry out of focus effect. So I'm going to carry on and do a little bit more of that because this is going to take a long time to, uh, to finish this drawing. And, you know, obviously there's a, a time restriction on the video because if I make it too long, people just won't watch it. But I'm just sort of adjust, basically what I'm doing is I keep adjusting the size of this pencil that's all and it's a default pencil I haven't changed it in any way but still keeping it fairly soft I'm not not got to the point yet where I've I wanted to put in any detail so I'm going to keep going and and do all of the sort of blurry stuff and then I'll come back when I'm in uh, the bird and putting in all the detail okay so Let's uh, just fast forward it.
Right, so I'm into the bird. I'm going to, first of all, merge down. Or struggle with this bit. Merge all the layers down. Uh, with the background kept separate. So I've got like the leaves and the fence or, or the background. Lovely. And I've got this layer. I don't think there's anything on that. So that's the layer. Layer six is what I'm going to use. Paint my bird. So let's see what we're going to do. Um, wait, I need, I can see some browns in there. You know what? I should put this layer below that layer. And then when I paint bird in like that, we have got the leaves nice and sharp. I'm going to put that in pretty much as a colour over the whole of the thing. Work at this size, can't I really? Be smaller than that. I'm just sort of. Looking at it and getting the initial in. The initial colour, I should say, sort of on the background. Bluer rather than pink. Bit there. Good. Oh. Look at the head. Well, that's sort of the colours on. Now I can start thinking about detail a bit. I can shrink the size of the brush. I guess I can just start at the head and work, work my way down, really. I've still got a certain amount of softness to this brush. I'm not yet thinking about um, really fine detail. Um, let me go over the eye and I'll put that in later. I want to say later, I mean in a minute or two. To a bit of
Yeah, the NI. Looks all right there. It's a bit light. I just made it light so I could see. Go over it a bit with some bit grey colour. And what I'm going to do is almost black. Fill it in and make that line really fine. Like that. Oh, barely see it there. The outline that is. We lost it a bit there. Definitely lost it over the top. Just a faint flatter, just there like that. Just the indication of a line almost, almost can't see it. And then we've got this really why uh, that that's cool. What's do for that? It's really now just about sharpening everything up a bit. Blending where we need it. I'm using, I don't know if I mentioned it, I'm using the same brush as the blender as well, the Bonobo Chalk. Light colours. Going to that. Uh, bring them in here as well. There.
they're a bit long i can see just need to um make them up a bit not a furry dog Get in there. Get in Yeah, pick up this brown again. The nice thing about it, once you've got the colours laid down, you can just very simply select the colour on the palette uh, from the um, canvas by tapping the little square. I've got it set up so that I tap the square, I can select the colour. Away I go. Oh, I'm, I'm liking the look of that. I reckon I can turn off the pencil layer again. Go, yeah. Almost just put them in, be soft. I think you still need the odd lake. Oh, make the brush smaller. That's it.
Um, a little bit darker. Time consuming job this. So I'm starting to get the artistic flair bit coming in where I kinda don't want to do all of the bird in detail. Uh, but I'm thinking I should do. Take it down here. I, I like this fuzzy edge, so I'm going to try and keep some of that if I can. I like the delicateness of the whole thing. I think I've got it a bit thick, you know. What really thin fine lines. It was an eraser actually. Oh can't. Yeah, what I want to do is make the brush a bit thicker. Whilst Too thick. Basically, I want less, less drawing to do. Because it's quicker. Oh, that crest is actually too low. That's what I need to do, put in these subtle lots of feathers. I want this um, almost white as well. But not quite as blurry as that.
There we go. I think I've got um, to come out a little bit at the bottom. It's a bit warmer as well. We need some warmer, a little bit warmer colour. I think it, we need to bring him out about there. That's better. Uh, just use the blending brush a little bit. Some little flowers in, haven't I, as well? Right, I think I just need to do this bit around here uh, I bet there's a brush that I could have just got created that would put these little flecks in dead easy but the whole point is I've got to do it all with this one brush Little like that. We're getting the happy medium.
I like this softness here. I don't think I, I really need to be acting with that too much. But I do think I need a slightly lighter colour. I see some blue there. I want to pick that up if I can. Yeah, that's looking all right. Get that blender. Just a bit. There we go. And I could, I think, in fact, never mind, I could, I'm going to. I think I just need to think about how this sort of. A bit. Uh, my eyes are off shut here to see this. I'm thinking that I should have um, done this sort of detail work on a different layer. Because there's no going back, there's no rubbing out, can't, not an option. This is a bit like some sort of loose hatching. Following the contours of the bird. Get that blender and just a bit. Whoops. Softening. Much more. Something um, 
not quite right. With the one with one of the layers above, just need to go into it. It'll be this one, obviously. It's the only one above. Need to go into that and just. A bit. We just soften that down. A bit. That's better. Now I can go back to my bird. That's a bit more. You can see, I can see, I, th I think I do need to kind of get into this a bit. You'll see these nice sort of feathery shapes. Um, let's make a smaller brush. Now I've just got to think which side. Okay. So, you know what? I am going to do this on a new layer. Yeah. And it goes like that. And it's blended. Out a bit. Like that. Softened on one edge. Then there's another one kind of goes that and that's softened too. All out towards the edge of the bird. See what that looks like. Yeah. Maybe making them a bit small. And then we've got one that kind of goes up here. A bit like that. that. And just soften out on edge. Yes, yes. Oops. I did the thing then where if you hold the pencil line down and the, the stylus down, you can create geometric shape to do that. Put around to the skirt because it goes around here, but it gets a bit softer. I like that, and then fades away. It's where the wind sort of fluffing its feathers up a bit and then got the other place where it's almost merged together like that. We lose lose a bit of tail. That's cool. 
I want to change the colour a little bit, go more towards the purple. And then we could come down here, and I think this is probably going to be the last one. A bit of this in there as well, actually. I'm always looking for ways to simplify. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and maybe Pushing that way as well. There. There, there, there. Maybe I can use the eraser as well to sort of lift out some. Patterns. Now, there's, I think there's just one thing left to do on these feathers. A really fine line, almost white. Just dip. The ends and licking the odd. That just lifts it mostly around the front. I think they need to be. Can I undo them? Did it wrong? I sat them on top of the black. Or the shading. What I really need to do, I think, just pop them at the end like that. So the shaded bit stays shaded. Nice, but too long. Too long. This is fiddly. Trying to do it random. Went too long again. No, I think that's all right. Have I? Be white. Be grey. I think it should. A bit, bit too. Make it all warm. 
Oh my god. Yeah, that's it. That's nicer. That's it. Now, I'm just wondering if I need these little um, berries in front of the bird. What do you think? Ooh. Might put a couple in. Just a couple. Put them on a new layer. Just so I can take them out if I don't like them. One here. Must be pink actually. Yeah. And one there. I think aesthetically that will look quite nice. Why am I drawing so small? Need to be, does it? Yeah, that's quite nice, I think. Look on the others. Making these up really, I'm sort of very quickly looking at the source photo, but the, the not much detail on the, on the uh, woods that I'm using, so I'm just sort of making something up. And hopefully, when I zoom out, it's going to look all right. Oh, but.
Uf. Take this one a bit more, perhaps. Yeah, I like that. That's it. I'm going to sign this. Maybe that's a thin. That's better. So look at that. All drawn. Zoom out again. I do have trouble with this iPad when, when I try and rescale things sometimes it takes a second to do and this is only in procreate for it to um zoom in and out let's shut that down there we have it my little sparrow drawn with the uh bonobo chalk brush for producing uh, all of the textures that we've got and all of the detail and all the fuzziness all on one painting all done with one brush so if you're into the detail and you want to have a go with that, I can recommend this brush. It's really good fun to use. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, big thumbs up as always is much appreciated. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I have loads of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them all with you. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.